Alhamdulillah now I am contented for what I have. I am every day thankful to Allah for for all the blessings that He give, He gave to me. He's giving me. No ma, no matter what, if it's bad, Alhamdulillah. If it's good, Alhamdulillah. I lost my job, Alhamdulillah. I am here, Alhamdulillah. Salam alaikum. My name is Rome. I am from the Philippines. I am being a rebirth for two years. And now you can call me Abdul Salam. So before I accepted Islam, I'm just like a, a human being that was um, only believing only believing in the existence of God, but I stopped believing in religion. It's just like I don't believe in I don't you know I don't believe in any religion. It's just like I am lost, I am confused. I am unsure. I'm just uh, worshiping God, just like based on my, based on my desire, based on my free will. So that's in that in that time, it's just like I'm. I feel jealous to the Muslim people, because the way they did, you know, they they pray five times a day, and then it's just like they they have path. When the call of Adan starts, they prepare themselves and then they run to just to, to pray to Allah. It's just like, wh why I cannot do that? This is my, you know, this is my question that time. When I'm, you know, because it's just, I am lost. I don't know where to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. And then I don't have, I don't have some, some rules to be followed. Yeah, it's easy to follow your desire. Okay, I can I can pray while I'm sleeping. I, I can pray while I'm you know I'm eating. I can pray while I'm sitting. I can pray while I'm laying down. I can pray even in the bathroom, but it's haram. <laughs> I, I we, we, we Muslims should not pray in the bathroom because this is not this is not the right place to worship Allah. So, Alhamdulillah. Um, for the guidance of Allah, the day has come that He He give me some some guidance. I remember it was uh, 27th of July 2016 in the busy place of Babal Bahrain. I am walking that time, and then suddenly one brother handed me a card, a yellow card, and then written written on it, "It's uh, life is just a game." So. I just look at it and then I keep on walking. It's just like I feel that this card is only for, you know, some kind of online gaming shop that, you know, opening shop on Manama. Or it's just like a bunch of uh, brothers who's uh, selling, some, uh, is selling some gaming technology, something like that. So I keep on walking, just, you know, like a normal person who's walking in the souk. And then suddenly, another bro brother crossed my, my, my way, his brother Hisham. And then he, he stopped me, and then he greeted me, Salam alaikum brother, how are you? And then he said, I'm fine. Do you, want, do you want to talk about that card? Do you want to know behind that card? And then I turned the card, and then there's, there's a question. Why God created you? And then I paused for a while, and then I think it's just like a mental block. I know that this is just a simple question, but if you try to answer it, you will mental block. You don't know you don't know what what to answer. So I paused for a while and think about my answer, and then I told him. God created me just to do good deeds. God created us just to love one another. Because this is what I believe that time. I believe that if I'm a good person, I will go to heaven. That's it. And then the brother asked me again one question. 
do you want me to answer that question? And I said, okay. And then he told me that Allah created us, Allah created you just to worship Him alone. And then it, it's in the Quran. He explained also that it's in the Quran. And I said, this guy, this guy makes sense that he's telling the truth that this is, you know, Allah created us just to worship to worship Him. So that time, it's just like we have a good conversation. He asked me some question and I, I asked him some question also. And then he told me, what do you know about the Quran? I just told them, Quran is just like same as a Bible. But what I don't understand about Quran is why Allah why Allah um, calling His people a slave while in the Bible, we are son of God. And then he, and then said, he explained to me that uh, because Allah is unique, Allah don't have son, and Allah, you know, Allah is a unique, unique. He, he, he doesn't have a son, and then he, he didn't get, you know, he did get born. That's that he, he he explained to me, and then he explained to me also about Islam. That Islam is a way of life that you know spreading peace, and then he explained to me also about Prophet Muhammad, and then he explained to me about also Jesus Christ, and then he told me, "Do you know? Do you know Allah?" And I said, "Yes." Do you know that? Do you know that Allah is the only God? And I said, yes. Do you know Prophet Muhammad? And I said, yes. Do you know Prophet Muhammad is a prophet of the Muslims? And I said, yes. Do you know Jesus Christ? And I said, yes. Do you know Jesus Christ is a prophet? And I said, maybe. I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know. It's just like that time I... I stopped believing on my religion because in my religion it's just like Jesus Christ is God, something like that. So I don't know. I just told it. I just told him, and then he explained to me that Jesus Christ is not a God. Jesus Christ is a prophet of God, and Jesus Christ never died. It's just like Allah sent him to heaven, something like that. And then he make he makes sense, and then I feel that. He's telling the truth that time. And then we had, we had a good conversation. We talk a lot. And then, you know, it's like he, he gave me some, you know, explanation that I accepted it. And then he offered me also to talk to a Muslim, to a Muslim brother, which is Philippine also. So he can explain me Islam on my own language so I can, I can understand it more. So we talk and then we had a conversation and then that time I I took my shahada. But when I took my shahada it's just like I'm not I'm not ready. I told the brother brother I'm not I, I am not ready because my question is am I ready to be a muslim? Am I ready to practice Islam? This is my question to myself because that time I want to proclaim my shahada with you know with full hearted that it's from my heart and then it comes from my lips because shahada is not just a shahada only shahada is it's not just like la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah it's not it's it's you it talk about allah on this you know on this in on this shahada it's all about allah so if if once you proclaim it you cannot you know turn back because this is all about Allah. So that time, they advised me to think about it first, think about my decision, and then don't tell my friends and my family about what happened. And then they hand me, handed me their, their car, their number, their contact number, so if I need something, I can call them. So for, uh, for a month, I, I have decided and then I texted the brother and then I told them that 
I want to learn about Islam, and then I, wa I want I want to you know I want to seek knowledge about Islam. So Alhamdulillah, Allah is giving me some guidance, and I am here now. I am a slave of Allah, that which that I don't want to accept. Now I am Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam means slave of Allah. Alhamdulillah. At the first year, it's difficult for me. It's just like. You know, my lifestyle is different from my lifestyle now. For, for, for two years for being a Muslim, it's just like, before, I'm not contented for what I have. I want more, I want more, I want more. It's just like, I want to live and I want more. Something like that. Alhamdulillah, now I am contented for what I have. I am every day thankful to Allah for for all the blessings that he give, he gave to me, he's giving me. No, ma no matter what, if it's bad, alhamdulillah. If it's good, alhamdulillah. I lost my job, alhamdulillah. I am here, alhamdulillah. So now my life is have have a have a path, path to be follow, and which is the straight path. And then every day I'm just struggling, just you know, um, trying hard trying hard to to be in the same track every day and then alhamdulillah i am here i am teaching some new muslim brother to you know how to pray i know it's difficult for them also because it's difficult to me also when i was new but i just you know just giving them some advice that it's okay i've been there it's it's okay to have some mistakes because i've been have mistakes also and then still I having made some mistakes, but I still I'm trying to correct it by the will of Allah, by Allah's grace. Alhamdulillah. So first, my relationship about my friends first. Uh, at first, I didn't tell them directly that I'm a Muslim. I, I didn't tell them directly that I, I accepted Islam. It's just like uh, they notice it by my gesture. In our flat, while the the call of prayer start, I just volume down the television that time. When I was uh, like a uh, first month being a Muslim, something like that. So I, I try my I, I just volume down the television and I prepare myself to you know I, I just prepare myself and then go out to the house, and then they just notice why why this guy is always doing that when the the call of prayer start, and then when they notice it's just like yeah I'm a Muslim and then I'm not shame of it I'm a Muslim, and then it's hard for them to accept that now I set my limitation to them. I I I didn't God I I don't gather with them in you know just like uh, I gather gathered the, with them in a halal way just I set my limitation but still we are you know we are friends we are intact and then sometimes they asking me some question about Islam and then it's the great opportunity to give dawah to them because that on that on that particular time I can. I can explain to them the beauty of Islam. I can explain to them that Muslim is not like the Muslim that they see on the media. And then this is this is Muslim and this is me. This is what I practice. And then about my family, it takes time for them to know that uh, I'm a Muslim because that time, that past year is just like I'm not I'm not ready to to confess, I'm not ready to tell them that I become a Muslim because I know that it's hard for them to accept because in our family there is no Muslim. So I just decided to to seek knowledge first and to have deep understanding about my about Islam. So if I explain to them, if I'm ready to to tell them that I'm a Muslim, it's it's just like I will tell them in a nice and proper way so we cannot argue about it. 
So when the time ha has come, Alhamdulillah, I I tell them that I become a Muslim because I've been to Umrah and then I shave my hair, and then I show the picture. What, what happened to you? Why why are you bald? And then I, I told them this is what Mus Muslim practicing. I've been to Umrah and then he said, "You're a Muslim," and then. All of them is just like they are speechless, but I feel that uh, deep inside with them, it's hard for them to you know accept that I'm a Muslim now. But they they said that you know they are happy for for my decision, but I still feel that I don't know. Inshallah, Allah will guide guide them. And then one time I asked my mom, I asked my mother, I I told her, do you want me to be to be a Muslim, and then he, 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 she told me honestly that, son, I don't want you to be a Muslim. And then why? And then she just don't want. And then he just tell me that you are my son, so I, 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 I'll accept your decision. I, I accept what you are, but I know deep inside that, you know, it's just like a, it's hard for a mother to, you know, to accept what's the decision of, of, of his son because he raises me as a, you know, as a Roman Catholic. So, but still, I'm not, you know, I'm not giving up to my mom to explain everything. I explained to her that we Muslims respect Mama Mary. We Muslims respect Prophet Jesus. Peace be upon him. And then, I'm trying also to explain to her the the tawhid, the oneness of Allah. I'm explaining it to her without, you know, without comparing her faith to Islam, because uh, Allah, Allah, Allah tell us in the Quran that uh, there's no compulsion in religion. We should convey Islam in a kindness and with love. And Prophet Muhammad also. Uh, told us that respect another religion because maybe you they will uh, respect another religion so they will not stand against Islam so inshallah Allah will guide them inshallah Allah will open their heart and their minds and then gives them some deep knowledge about Islam because Islam is a beautiful religion. Islam is a way of life. Islam spreading peace. Allah only, uh, I, Allah only can guide us about Islam. He, 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 he can only guide us in the right path. But all I can advise to my fellow Filipinos and my friends that if there's any mis misconception about Islam, if there's any any misinterpretation about the Muslims, if there's misunderstanding about Prophet Muhammad, just don't don't hesitate to go to you know to Islam Awareness Center or to Discover Islam. So this 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 uh, this center will will answer your question, and then there's some knowledgeable people also who can who can tell them about Islam. And then, even in your, in your community, on your, on your workplace, even if it's your boss or your colleagues, if they're a Muslim, just ask them about Islam. And then, all, even in your, in your surroundings, there's uh, a lot of Muslim brothers and sisters there that, you know, they are eager to, to spread some good information about Islam. Don't, don't be shy. Don't hesitate to, to go with them and then ask them about Islam. And then even if you see me also, don't, don't, don't be shy to, you know, to ask some question. Maybe I can help you to, to, to understand what is Islam is. Maybe we can help you to, to know about Islam. So to, to, to give some knowledge about Islam because Islam is a beautiful religion. Islam is the way of life. Islam is a religion of peace. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.